and welcome to Parenting on the Go. I'm Sheena Monin, and joining me here today is Nikki O'Donnell, a licensed psychologist with Viewpoint Psychology and Wellness in Commerce Township. She has previously worked for Henry Ford Hospital Health Systems and is a frequent contributor to Metro Parenting Magazine and a behavioral health expert for local news stations, WXYZ TV, Channel 7, and WDIV Local 4. Thank you for giving us some of your time today yes. to talk about a very relevant and important topic such as stress management. Tell us a little bit about what you know about stress management. So a lot of the families that I work with, both kids and adults, I think now more than ever, we're just you know struggling a lot with the fact that we're committed. We've got a lot of things going on and sometimes we don't have a ton of time to manage the stress that builds up. So, you know, there's positive things in our life that can contribute to stress, like the end of a school year, which oh, a lot of kids are I never thought about the through. positive parts. Wow, right. that's great. And also the negative things, right? So the things that sometimes we either maybe can't control that are happening in our lives or, you know, maybe the, the people surrounding us even, that sort of negativity. So I'm seeing a lot of that. A lot of the work that I do is helping people identify what are the stressors that we can manage and maybe eliminate from our lives, and then also how do we build up a tolerance to the things that maybe we can't get rid of. Wow, do you think people have any idea that positive events do bring stress? Isn't it kind of interesting? That, that just blew my mind. Yes. I never thought about that before. <laughs> Absolutely. But those are the things too where sometimes it, 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 if we're really doing something exciting or you know we've got a lot going on, some people will describe even their vacations, like mm. I need a vacation from my vacation. Yeah. It's fun, but it also it still triggers the same stress response in the body. Wow. So we still need to really focus in and pay attention uh, to those needs as well. What are some of the signs that we can look for? that red alert stress is occurring right now yes so some of us know the obvious ones right getting to the end of the week and just being burnt out mm -hmm. can't function any mm -hmm. longer need to take a nap um, but the other thing that I think is important to know is that so stress triggers cortisol to build up in the body that's the stress hormone oh, okay. uh, and so over time if we're not appropriately doing the things in life to manage that buildup it will just be kind of like the closet in all of our houses that we just mm. shove things in and eventually one day you open it up and it all falls out. That's a good visual, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so some of the things that, that are sort of indicators that that buildup is happening um, are things like, you know, cortisol causes brain fog, right? Mm. So maybe just feeling like, man, I can't get it together. Mm. Um, we'll even, you know, over time have the physical symptoms of stress. So that might look like uh, headaches, stomach aches, fatigue, no matter how many, you know, how much sleep you're getting, um, increase need for sleep even okay. um, or you know perhaps stress or anxiety worries that you know over things that perhaps you wouldn't typically be really concerned about but now it feels like everything's just amplified mm. are all indicators that mm, these are maybe that red that the red light warning sign that stress is building up absolutely we don't want any of those right. so what are some techniques that we can learn from you today to help us yes so this is something these are you know I picked just a few things that out of my toolbox that I love to share with families um, both adults that I work with and the kids, um, especially the teenagers as well, because man, my goodness, this is like a time um, in history where they are very stressed as well. But so one of the things that I love to share with families is that, you know, that cortisol that builds up that we talked about, the stress hormone, um, you know, people always tell me, well, what do I do about that? Yeah. Like, well, let me tell you what you can do about it. You know, aside from making sure we're getting appropriate amounts of sleep, eating well as best we can, staying hydrated, Oxygen is another thing, right, that, that we breathe every day that can help metabolize out cortisol. Wow. So um, beyond just the take a deep breath, mm -hmm. I love to teach uh, a technique called bubble breathing, Okay, which sounds kind of fun, right, or interesting, a little strange. Uh, most of us can have a memory at some point, either with ourselves or our children, of blowing bubbles. And so what the act of blowing bubbles, taking the wand, mm -hmm. taking a deep breath in through our nose, all the way through our diaphragm and then blowing out through our mouth and if we do it just right we get lots we get of the, bubbles. the perfect amount of right. bubbles there nice it's right. a good visual to help us sure. there it's all so. those muscles that we need yeah. to kind of get get in sync and so that's a good way to practice it so yeah. that naturally we can access that anytime awesome great well stress is something we probably can't avoid even if we want to are there some additional resources out there for people who are seeking some relief in their busy lives absolutely so like we had said before um, I work at viewpoint psychology and wellness here in commerce um, 
Um, and one of the things, so our website, ViewpointPW.com, um, okay. we have a wealth of information and knowledge there as well as clinicians who are just so caring and diverse in, in their therapeutic approaches. So um, I think the other thing is, you know, if, if you're feeling like stress is building up and you're not sure what to do, just like you, you know, if you had a toothache, you would go to the dentist. You know, go this is another thing. Someone. You know, yeah. absolutely. Come talk to us. Great. Absolutely. Thank you so much for being here today. Sure, this you, important Sheena. topic that we discussed. Thank you. And thank you for watching this episode of Parenting on the Go. If you would like to look at more helpful parenting tips, you can visit the West Bloomfield Youth Assistance website at wbyouthassistance.org.